Okay, we got something in the mail today, and the easiest knife to grab was this Polish AK-47 bayonet. I think this box is from Florida, so hopefully it's the uh, replacement for the MRE I was missing. But honestly, we all have a bunch of stuff coming from eBay, so we'll see what's in here. And obviously this is sharp, but it isn't razor sharp or anything, so this is just the easiest way to hold on to it, to use the very tip of it here to... I don't. If it is an MRE in there, I don't want it to go in too deep and potentially break the MRE bag. And it looks like... It is two MREs. So, I ordered some civilian MREs and I ended up getting uh, gypped out of one. So, I've got a cheese tortellini uh, Maraqual MRE here with. Uh, doesn't look like there's any date code on it. Looking on both sides of the top and bottom here, and I don't see any date code, so not sure how old these are. Here we go. We've got a number 4147, and if I remember my MRE dates correctly. I'll have to go double check on the website, but if that 4147 is is what I think, then that was made in 2004. And then we've got a 4143 code on this one. So another 2004. Now I did get two in return for the one that was missing, and I guess maybe one to replace the one that was cut. They're regular MREs instead of civilian, which in my book is probably a little bit better, just because I'll get a uh, Tabasco sauce potentially, which is a little bit better than the commercial ones. I don't get the clear bags, but I guess that's no big deal. They're Ameriqual instead of Sopaco, but really that's not a big deal. So uh, I guess overall, um, I'm going to go ahead and give the guy a positive. Uh, I didn't specifically ask to get the same one replaced, so he did replace it with something equivalent. In my opinion, a little bit better, maybe. And uh, he did throw in a second one, so um, I'm not really going to complain now, because t technically I did get 13 MREs from him. Although I had bought 12 civilian MREs, I ended up with 11 civilian and 2, um, not outdated, but not brand new, um, military style. So, um, that was enough. This is an update. I'll link it over to the other. And uh, I guess uh, I'm going to leave him a positive. i uh, got no reason to leave him a negative. He did follow up. Uh, he could have been a jerk about it, and he didn't. Um, so, I'm going to leave him a positive, but let me know in the comments what you would have done. And uh, I think I'll hold off on letting out the guy's name. I don't think there's any reason to retaliate against him or to hold a grudge. Um, these seem to be sealed in good shape. I got them relatively quick considering he had to bite the packet, you know, the shipping on these. They are sealed. I'm just squeezing them to see if the air squeezes out. They are sealed. So, uh, like I say, I'm going to leave them positive and, uh, say, you know, write him an email, say thanks for, for replacing that one, and uh, I probably won't deal with them again, um, only because I think I'm going to go straight to the manufacturers from this point on, if I'm dealing with the civilian type. When I'm dealing with these military style, which I still like and I'll still pursue, um, I think I'll get these at gun shows and when I can see them in person so I know exactly what I'm getting, so I can check those date codes and, and that kind of thing. So anyway, uh, MREs on eBay. This is the uh, conclusion to the little uh, adventure.